Hey guys, I'm Patrick Neely, and today, since the UEFA Euro 2024 is getting closer, I decided today that, um, that I'm going to be predicting every single UEFA Euro 2024 group, and then, um, and then predicting my winner, so, um, yeah. <coughs> We're just going to go ahead and get started, so, um, <coughs> before I predict, uh, my UEFA Euro 2024 uh, tournament. Um, please consider. Su please go ahead and subscribe, and like and comment as well. So be part of the fun. Be part of the action. I will post at almost every single day. So yeah, <clears throat> vlog stuff, gameplays and more, and live streams and more. So yeah, <clears throat> make sure you uh, stay up to date on my YouTube channel when you subscribe, like and comment. Okay, let's get started with my uh, UEFA Euro 2024 predictions. So, <clears throat> we're going to get started with Group A. So, <clears throat> here we go. So, <clears throat> so, Group A. This is obvious. Germany, Scotland, Hungary, and Switzerland. Uh, you know, a Group A is a perfect group for Germany to win a group. Like, I know they have just... Uh, perfectly win almost every single group at the Euros. They've 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 conquered every single one of the group and Scotland. Oh that that's pretty tricky for Scotland and uh Hungary. Oh wow. And uh Hungary are just uh <clears throat> I they might perform better but I, I think they can just uh adjust or something like that. And Switzerland uh I, I think Switzerland have a good chance. I think Switzerland have a good chance. Okay, for my first prediction, I'm going to say Germany is group winners, Switzerland in second place. I'm going to go with Hungary in third place, you know, um, <clears throat> because obviously uh, Hungary are just uh, in, in the main group. Okay, group B, Spain, Croatia, Italy, and Albania. Okay, so Spain, they might have, they might have a good chance uh, to put up a good fight. They might have to uh, readjust for a sec. Italy, uh, Croatia, um, Croatia, they've surprised everyone at the 2018 World Cup and uh, the 2022 World Cup as well. So they might just expect everyone to win, but I, I think that that prediction might just uh, do the trick. So yeah. Um, um, and then Italy, uh, the defending Euro champions. I'm, I'm just uh, too confident for Italy, but but the Italians, man, I'm, I I feel so, so happy for them to win the title uh, three years ago. But I will be surprised if they go back to back. This has never happened uh, in 12 years. So, yeah, you never know. And Albania, oh, I don't think Albania has a chance. I don't think Albania has a chance. Okay, my group B prediction, I'm going to say Spain and Italy, my top two. And then Croatia in third and Albania will be fourth. Okay, moving on to group C. Uh, Slovenia, Denmark, Serbia, and England. Okay, so England uh, are the heavy favorites to win the title. I'm I'm thinking it, it might just it might just seem perfect for England to win the group, but uh, Denmark might might be seen a little. But Denmark is is considered a dark horse at the moment. But um, a a disappointing uh exit at the 2022 World Cup in the group stage is very uh very bad but they'll they'll try to improve and serbia i bet serbia has a chance and slovenia i don't think they can get it all right so for uh for my group c prediction i'm gonna say england first and uh and and second place is very tight but uh, but in my in my opinion i'm just uh i'm 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 just think thinking straight in my mind yeah, so Group C, I I'm, I feel confident for is Denmark in second place and Serbia in third. Then Slovenia will go home. Okay, Group D. It's a perfect group. It's a group of death. It's the Netherlands, France, Poland, and Austria. So uh, I don't really think this group is a group of death, but uh, this is interesting. But Group D is 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 looking like a good group. Group D, man. Um, Netherlands, France, Poland, and Austria. Um, Netherlands should be uh, s should be like through now. And France, wow, the f one of the favorites to win the Euros. 
I think they stand a chance now to win a Euro title. They can do it, man. They can do it. And the Netherlands, they should be a top two team. Like, they're just too good uh, in terms of, like, uh, attacking-wise and uh, defensive-wise. They're just too good. And Poland and Austria, I don't think these two will be going through. But I'll think of my, I'll think of my mind. I'll think of my mind. Okay. For my group deep prediction, I'm going to say France and the Netherlands are going through. And third place is tight. Third place is tight. But because Poland have Robert Lewandowski, I'm going to have to say Poland in third place and Austria going home. Okay, Group E. Ukraine, Slovakia, Belgium, and Romania. Oh, Belgium. I think Belgium have what it takes to finally win a European trophy. They have Trossard from Arsenal and uh, Lukaku from Romania. Um, no, not, not Romania, sorry. Uh, Lukaku from Roma. And um, they also got Courtois from Real Madrid. Wow. They have a tight... They, they have a tough uh, team, man. They have a tough team. And Ukraine. Wow. I feel confident for Ukraine that um, after winning the playoff very easily... Um, Ukraine should definitely be one of the dark horses. And Romania? Oh, I, I stand Romania chance, but, you know, I guess this is, uh, this is very, very obvious. And Slovakia? I think Slovakia is going to have a very, very, uh, very interesting group. Okay, so for my Group E prediction, I'm going to have to say Belgium to top the group. And second place is very tight. Second place is very tight, you know. Um, I'm going to have to say Ukraine in second place. And uh, um, third place, I have no choice but to give Romania third place and Slovakia going home. And finally, last but not least, Group F. Turkey, P Portugal, Georgia, and the Czech Republic. Portugal are the favorites, man. Portugal are the favorites. They're, they're, they are... They're super strong and super healthy that they're the 2016 Euro champions and they have a chance to, to prove everyone wrong. And, and in terms of uh, success, they must bring. Well, Cristiano Ronaldo, he could win his second Euro, but you never know. You never know. Okay, so for my Group F prediction... I'm going to say Portugal in second place. Oh, no, no, sorry. I'm going to have to say Portugal in first place. And uh, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to say uh, the Czech Republic will go into second. And then Turkey in third place and Georgia going home. And I think the Czech Republic, they, they should do well. And I think they, they, they must uh, improve. And I think Turkey will finally be one of the third place teams, I think. And I, I don't think Georgia has a chance. So I predicted Portugal first, Czech Republic second, Turkey third, and Georgia fourth. Okay. So these are the these are the third place teams: Hungary, Croatia, Serbia, Poland, Romania, Turkey. Um, uh, the, getting one of the third place teams is very very difficult, but um. And the first third place team that I'm gonna be predicting is Croatia, and then I'm I'm gonna I'm this is, and the the second place spot is very difficult, but I'm gonna have to say Hungary in second place. Uh, I'm gonna say Poland in third, and uh, I it's very tough to say for either one of them, but Serbia, Romania, and Turkey. Uh, I I'm, I might have to say Turkey to advance. Okay, so. I have, I have my round of 16 in the situation with Spain and uh, with Spain versus Poland, Germany versus Denmark, Portugal versus Croatia, Netherlands versus Ukraine, Belgium versus Hungary, France versus the Czech Republic, England versus Turkey, and Switzerland versus Italy. Okay, um, so Spain versus Poland. Um, this is this is very tricky. Um, I'm 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 having to say Spain to advance because uh, the Spanish are just like they, they, in terms of Spain and Spain, you know, I I think Spain might advance. You never know. Germany versus Denmark. Uh, Germany. I think they have they they got this in the bag. They got this in the bag. I'm gonna put Germany in the quarterfinals. 
And then Portugal versus Croatia. Uh, you know, it, you know, it's tough. You know, it's tough. But uh, I think in my mind, Portugal and Cristiano Ronaldo have a perfect opportunity to knock Croatia out. So I'm going to go with Portugal. And Netherlands versus Ukraine. Oh, yeah. Netherlands is going to gonna win this one. Because in term, I, again, I'm saying the Netherlands, don't write them off. Because I'm going to say the Netherlands. The Netherlands, because I, I think the Netherlands should have a potential, potential, potential sneaking in. Or the potential, potential Euro Championship team, you know? And Belgium versus Hungary. Uh, in 2016, they won, um, Belgium won 4 nothing against Hungary. So um, I think Belgium have what it takes to uh, demolish Hungary again. So this time I'm going to say Belgium to advance to the core finals. And then France versus the Czech Republic. So France versus the Czech Republic. So I'm going to go with France this time because, you know, they're just too good. They're just too good. And the French are just too good. I'm, I'm definitely saying France. You know, I'm not kidding. Okay, England versus Turkey. Um, I'm thinking this is easy. I'm going to say England to advance. England will advance. And Switzerland versus Italy. Uh, that's pretty difficult to call. But in terms of uh, of uh, footballing skills or uh, soccer skills, however you pronounce it all around the world, uh, I guess this is this is the, the one to one to say. But I'm gonna have to say Italy. Uh, I, th I I'm gonna say uh, you know what uh. uh you, you know what? I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say Italy. I'm gonna say Italy to advance to to the quarterfinals. Okay, so I got my final eight: Spain versus Germany, Portugal versus Netherlands, Belgium versus France, and England versus Italy. Okay, Spain versus Germany in the quarterfinals. Uh, let's get to it. Uh, Spain. I think Spain have a chance. Um, Germany have a chance, but in my own mind, uh, since Germany is a host nation, I, I have a feeling that Germany might knock out Spain, so I'm going to have to say Germany to advance to the semifinals, and then Portugal versus the Netherlands. Uh, I don't know what to say, but in my own personal opinion, uh, I'm going to say the Netherlands to advance, but even though... Cristiano Ronaldo uh, might be in tears a after he loses to the Netherlands, but I'm s I'm sure um, the Netherlands uh, will try and make their own name for themselves. And then Belgium versus France, ugh, this is this is this is difficult to call. Uh, I'm gonna have to say France to advance because uh, you know, um, my money is on France every time. My money is on France. And then England versus Italy. Um, uh, you know, since England won two out of two against Italy in the Euro qualifiers, I'm going to have to say England to advance. Uh, this time, I'm going to have a 2-1 have a after extra time, if it's possible. They'll have revenge on Italy from what they did in the Euro 2020 final. Okay, so my final four is confirmed. Uh, Germany, Netherlands, France, and England. Okay, here we go. Who will advance to the final? Here we go. So I'm get, uh, so Germany versus the Netherlands. Um, I I think it's it's clear to say Germany. They're the ones going to the final for sure. I'm gonna have to say Germany to advance to the final, and then France versus England. Uh, <sighs> this is difficult, man. I'm 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 thinking of my own minds that I I th I don't think either one of those two is going. But uh, my mind is cl my mind is saying England is winning. But you know what? I'm gonna take England to advance to the final. Okay, now it's Germany versus England in the final. Um, well, well, if Germany and England meet in the final, then um, I'm sure you guys know Germany have a home field advantage or the home like like stadium advantage. You know, Germany must do it. Or England uh, could be uh, one of the uh, underdogs here. So, in my opinion, my winner for Euro 2024 will be England. So, uh, yeah, England will be my Euro 2024 winner. So, there you have it. That is my uh, Euro 2024 uh, uh, predictions. So, England will win Euro this year. 
England will win the Euros this year. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and commenting, and I'll talk to you again for the next video. Bye-bye.